Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to capture um, the remote access to Linux from um, Putty. So first I'm going to download the Putty from one of the sites I've been open already. So I'm going to open from this site, some this reliable source there. Uh, I'm going to get a exe um, pass it there, exe, then I'm saving to my computer. So i done that already, I save it there. So that's very much done for downloading. So next one, I'm going to check whether the SSH is running and the firewall is open or not. So I'm going to Linux, uh, checking whether SSH is running. At the moment it's running and now I'm finding out what port number that SSH is running. Okay, then at the moment SSH is running on port 22. Okay, so if your, SSH, your server uh, in practical term that you may change the SSH port so the, the default scripts on the internet, they may not able to hack into or sniff in your server easily. So if you have changed your SSH, so you simply find out the SSH port. Or by default, you can use nmap command to, nmap command to find out, but that may not show you if you've been changing. Okay. If you change it, the port SSH to all the ports and then you run the end map, it may not show you, all right? It may not show you. So you need to run uh, the next steps. So T for TCP, P for pro, uh, program, A for all of them, and N for number it. And you grab them out, and you can see that that's a local host. 22. All right. So now my SSH is running on the twen port 22 at the moment. All right. And run on port 22. Of course, TCP. And now, okay, check whether firewall is open or not. All right, firewall. You're going to check the firewall at the moment. Uh, uh, firewall. You can check the firewall. There we go. It's accept at the moment. Okay, input state new TCP. Uh, destination point that accept J for jump that accept it, so that's fine. Okay, if it's not, then by default it's open. But I mean, some not by default. Some of installation is not available, so you may need to enable them. Okay, so if, if you don't ena enable them, you won't be able to go in at all. Okay, now make the connection. Uh, open SSH, run them. Okay, and uh, my server port will be uh, IP address, that's my server IP address, where's IP, there's 610 whatever there, so 10.66.5.17, and if you want to save, you, if you want to come back to this server in the future, save them a session, say SSH server for example, then save them, right, save them, so next time double click on here, it's right. So there we go, as I said, you can do telnet or you can do, you know, if you do Cisco, you may go on that, but we don't do anything, we go as I default. Okay, save them. Now, double click on here, go. So that's the very first time you will have a fingerprint, fingerprint for your, um, for your host, I mean, the local host. All right, say yes for this. And now, uh, the username is Example, I do this scenario is root and my password, I won't tell you. Alright, that's it. I'm logging from remote and this my computer. See that? My window computer. Chrome. So Linux computer, you see the IP there. That's a Linux computer. And here is my window. And that one terminal. At the moment, like two interface, right? This is the local one and that, and that PT, TT1 here. I show you from remote. And if you run the W command example, that's they're telling you that what you're doing, okay, from remote. 
that symbol. Now you, you have the remote already. And if you like to change in the interface, uh, uh, anyway, you leave it there for you. You can do all, not, all the settings from here. All not the settings from, uh, change the setting here if you wish to, okay? Appearance, color, normally you do a system, it will be white color, so you can see more brighter. It's your choice, or you can change the form. Uh, go to setting again, change into appearance, change the form to number 12, for example. It got, we got to get bigger. All right, that's it for me for uh, for cap uh, for capturing of remote uh, remote message to the Linux and whatever port there and find out the port number as well. All right, best of luck, have fun, people. Bye for now.